14. All right, so for this one, is, uh, I can see like in the low power is the blue um, cool picture in the dermis that is like, you can see the mixed uh, mucin with fibroblast um, picture. That, so this is, this is could be good for a scleral mix, mix edema. Very good, yes. This is scleral mix edema, assuming the clinical workup and everything and the clinical appearance is right. To me, this reminds me, maybe it's because I'm a soft tissue pathologist and I like spindle cell lesions. This looks like a spindle cell proliferation in the dermis. It's got some collagen trapping and it's got spindle cells that are like bland fibroblasts, um, maybe some histiocytes, and then a variable amount of mucin as well as kind of an alteration. The dermal collagen looks a little different than normal, a little smaller. So it looks kind of like a fibroblastic collagenous proliferation with a variable amount of mucin mixed in. It reminds me to my eye, the few times I've seen it, it looks kind of a vaguely like a dermatofibroma, but with myxoid or mucinous change. So I don't know if that works for you, but for me, anytime I see something that looks like a DF, but has some myxoid or mucin, I always think, could it be scleromyx edema? The reason is that DFs, surprisingly, rarely ever have myxoid change. And that's really surprising because DFs have like 30 different morphological variants, it seems like, but myxoid is not really one of those. I mean, I have seen, a, I don't know, a thousand DFs, and I rarely ever see myxoid change, and if so, very focal at best. Um, and it's weird because many soft tissue tumors have a myxoid variation, but DF for some reason does not seem to be one of those. So always be very uh, cautious. If you think something's a DF with myxoid change, think of this. Think of other spindle cell tumors. Be very wary of making that diagnosis. Just throwing that out there. Uh, Scleromyx edema is a kind of complicated topic. It's quite rare, in my experience at least. Sometimes it presents as multiple papules all over the skin. Um, I think people describe it as what the, the, the chicken skin appearance. Is that right? Or am I confusing that with exactly. something? Yeah. Okay. And then there's also like plaque-like forms. It can be associated with um, with uh, monoclonal gammopathies and other systemic problems. So it's a potentially a systemically problematic disease. So these patients need get, to get more workup. Okay. And you can go and read it more in depth because there's a lot of different things that are associated and problems that these patients can have. But microscopically, remember, this is one of the name alikes that sounds kind of like uh, scler edema, pretibial mix edema, and sclera mix edema. All have kind of similar sounding names, but they look quite different, right? Here we have some mucin, but a lot of increase in spindle cell density and alteration of the kind of collagen in a way that looks kind of fibrotic or fibroblastic proliferation. All right, so sclera mix edema in uh, this case. Or I believe the other name sometimes used in the papular form is uh, papular mix edematosis. Is that, is that right? Sorry, I meant to go and look up all these things because these are things I don't see and write reports on very often. And I meant to do my homework before this session, but, you know, life happens sometimes. Here's the other slide. Is that right? Can someone tell me, is it papular mix edematosis? Or am I making that up? Popular mucinosis. Popular mucinosis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lichen mixedematosis. Lichen mixedematosis. I was like, I was hybridizing the names. Okay. Lichen <laughs> mixedematosis. And it's good to learn the variant names of things, which is very frustrating in dermatology and derm path, but you never know which name is going to show up on a test. So it's good to know the different names and, you know, it's a little extra work, but you're learning a couple different names for the, for the price of one, right? See, look again, like how it kind of re resembles dermatofibroma. Or maybe you could think of uh, interstitial granuloma annulari here, which to me also kind of resembles uh, dermatofibroma. So I think those things morphologically could all be in the differential together.